Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for trusting me in another video. Thank you for subscribing to Heart and Teaching. A little bit about me, my name is Carrie. I'm a teacher in New Jersey and I'm going on my 19th year. And uh, let's see, I have three kids, I have two dogs, a guinea pig. Um, very busy, but my heart is in teaching and I, like you, am spending a lot of time thinking about the beginning of the school year and I'm scrolling through social media platforms and I'm pleased to see that other educators um, have the same concerns as I do. And lastly, throughout this video, you are going to hear some strange sounds like my husband and my kids walking in and out the house, my dogs barking, and maybe the fan going, but that's just the reality, right? So let's talk about priorities. Priorities for this video are due to some of the same concerns that we all have and technology throughout this. And I'm not um, an expert at all, so you're going to hear things in this video and you're gonna be like, what, you don't know? She's not talking the right thing. I'm going to share what works for me and in result, as a result, over the summer, I've had parents compliment and the students were super excited. So I'm just sharing some practical tips that worked in my little virtual classroom environment. So back to priorities, HDMI um, adapter is what I use to help me with my computer and the second screen. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. And the use of two screens is essential, sometimes even three screens, um, and your cell phone, uh, just to test things out. And basically, I also got into my building, my school building in New Jersey, and I was allowed to take the document camera, which is really, really helpful, especially if we're teaching live, because Google Meet, you can um, change your camera, you can have it face yourself, or you can obviously present your screen, you can also change your camera so that the document camera can be on your screen as you're teaching. So I'm going to show you those tips in this video. All right, guys, so now we're looking at the two screens. We're gonna talk about some of those priorities. And again, I just wanna clarify in this video, these are things that just sometimes, you know, work for me. Um, I'm hoping that it would work for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So again, thank you for subscribing to Heart in Teaching. Um, I have some priorities ready to go. First thing is the two screens. Um, just be mindful of what kind of equipment you have. So I start with my laptop. The laptop is new and it's a Lenovo Yoga. It's um, thin, it's lightweight. I'm actually gonna hold it up so you can actually see it. Less than three pounds. And I wanted it just so that I can walk around school with it, taking attendance and whatnot, um, and not have to go through a hard time. Also, second screen. First, before this screen, I actually had um, a TV, and the TVs work just fine. The main culprit here is you have to make sure you have an HDMI um, connection to the TV or to the computer monitor. So if you go and you're looking for a wide screen or something to use as a second monitor, just make sure that you have it's HDMI compatible. Now, back to the laptop. You wanna make sure that your equipment has an HDMI outlet or an output. This particular laptop, my son told me this is very important, it does not have any USB ports on the side, on the left or the right. These new laptops, they assume everything's like Bluetooth, whatever. Um, so basically, because this does not have any outlets, I had to get an HDMI port, like an adapter. And honestly, I really like this because considering all this equipment that we're going to need, I have my... Um, selfie ring light, I have the second screen, and now I have our new toy, the document camera here. All of that is really in this HDMI adapter or this port, whatever you wanna call it. So all you need again, in terms of equipment, priorities, two screens, a document camera, which I think is great. If you're doing a lot of videos, the selfie ring's only like $13.99, I think was the cheapest one I saw. Um, and you might wanna get that adapter. Um, and, and, and verbiage to think about, HDMI is very important. Okay, so that's the equipment. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the usage of the camera. Um, and actually, before I get to the camera, I know I'm jumping around. Let me get back to showing you, because you, I'm showing you the two screens and you could be like, why? how, how did you get there? Um, just in case, I don't want to assume that everyone knows how to do this. I'm going to pull my mouse here and going to the display options is very important. 
I'm holding my phone myself, so forgive me if it gets a little dizzy because I'm going back and forth. But I just wanted to show you um, some of my common screens. Um, I'm on the display settings a lot because I'm always checking my brightness. I'm about to get a filter for the blue light. And I'm also looking into this area here where it says multiple displays, extend the displays. That's the setting that it's on right now. That's the setting that got the um, page that you see on here is my home page. I'm starting with my one Gmail account in a Google Meet, and then I invited a pretend student on a family Gmail account just to see how they can read this. Now, in the Google Meet, there are two cameras that I'm concerned about. The first camera, when I press those three dots, is the main camera, obviously. It's the, um, let's, let's check, where it says switch camera. Let's see if it's gonna switch my face, switch to my face. There's two cameras that I'm pretty concerned with. It's the camera that's going to go on my face, and it's also the camera that's going to be on my document camera right here. Okay. I am impatient. And this is um, just taking a little bit longer. I don't know if it's because I have the two screens or not, but basically you can switch. Okay, boom, there it goes. So I press switch camera, so now they can see my face when I'm teaching, and then if I press switch camera again, they should be able to see the document cam and any work that I might have on my pretend paper here. So I know that it's taking a little time, but I'm actually curious to make sure that this, um, to see if this really works. Yep, okay, so there it goes. So it's going to switch back over and it's going to show me um, what my document reader is looking at. Now you might say, oh, this looks upside down. But in the Google Meet right now, what I'm finding is, okay, so I'm gonna go over to my second screen and it says join now. Again, I do not want to assume. So just making sure you know, if you go up to the tab and you drag it to your original computer, that's how you move the screens, okay? So I'm dragging it back to my second screen, okay? So just touching the tab and dragging it will allow you to take that second screen to the original and the other screen, okay? All right, so now I'm the pretend student and I'm going to click join now. I want to see how the student sees the document camera, okay? And again, this um, second monitor, it might take time. It's also notifying me that the other student joined on the original, but I want to see how Okay, so now we can see how the student can look at the work that I'm displaying in under my document camera. Okay, so I'm just adjusting um, the arm of the document camera right now and getting used to it. But you can see that when the student sees the work under the document camera, it is right side up. They can see it, it's not backwards. Whereas when we went to the original, me, the teacher, when I went back over here, if I could look at my main screen, let's see. In my main screen, it's showing the work was um, kind of like flipped or mirrored. Now there is a way that you can go and adjust the mirror, someone said, um, during um, one of our social media platform discussions today. I did not get that far to flip the mirror, but I just wanted you, okay, I was just kind of playing around with this and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm going to just hold off on that. But remember, the original way that we started the meeting um, when the document cam on my side, on the original laptop, it was not right side up. But as you can see, I logged in as a pretend student and this is just some notes that I was taking, but it's right side up, so they would be able to see that, okay? Um, 
So again, we talked about the importance of two screens. We talked about the importance of getting an adapter so that you can plug in as many USBs and this HDMI port. It's also open on here. What I'm looking at right now is me, myself, the teacher, and this is a pretend student. We're able to see them because I clicked a tab, which is now over here, and you could just drag it back and forth. Using display settings is very important. You always want to, in this case, extend the display, okay? Um, let's see if there were any other notes I wanted to say. Um, you can also, you know, give any feedback um, in the chat features. All of those features are exactly the same. But today's video was just to show you some of the equipment that I thought was helpful, the use of the document cam. I think that's pretty cool. So that's just some of those priorities and I hope I was able to help you. Again, thank you for subscribing to Heart and Teaching. As I learn new things, I will be sure to post them on my channel. Thanks guys and good luck.